In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pulley's CRP5 flight computer to solve ground speed problems. The formula for speed is basically distance over time. So we are getting the CRP5 to do that equation for us. We will need two things in order to solve this problem, and those are the ground distance as well as the flight time or the time that we have covered that ground distance. It takes three steps to solve this problem. The first step is to align the flight time with the distance covered over the ground. The second step would be to move the cursor over the 60 minute marker. And the third step would be to read off the corresponding value on the outer scale. Let's work a problem. And in this problem, we are going to assume that we will cover a ground distance of 150 nautical miles in 53 minutes. What is our ground speed? So step one is to move 53 minutes and remember time is on the inner scale and we're going to look for 53 and 60 or 60 represents 6 and 53 would therefore be somewhere over here 51, 2, 3 and we're going to move 53 to correspond with the outer scale for a distance of 150 nautical miles which is on that side so I'm going to move 53 to line up with 150. And here we have 53 lined up with 150. If you want to check, we can put the cursor on it to make sure that they are perfectly aligned. And again, I press down to make sure there's no parallax error. We move the cursor over to the 60 minute mark because speed is always given as distance over 60 minutes. So I'm going to move the cursor now without moving anything else over to the 60 minutes and in 60 minutes I would cover a distance of 170 nautical miles. So again I'm pressing down on the CRP5 so speed is distance over time our ground speed would be 170 knots in 60 minutes 170 per hour and that's all there is to it.